Hi, I'm John Paul from JP Enterprises, and with me I have Ben Zimmerman from our sales and technical support staff. I imagine that a lot of you have talked to him over the years. Now you can put a face on him. So we're here today to talk about one of my favorite subjects, slings, and in particular, our new two-point sling. Now, over the years, I gotta tell you, it's been a huge disappointment for me how slings have fallen out of favor and not been used in the competitive shooting circle. And if we go way back to the, to the SOF venue, uh, and I am that old, I go that far back, well, the sling was actually a mandatory part of any rifle, and it stayed on the rifle for the entire, uh, the entire event. And in the real world, you would never have a rifle without a sling. A sling is an integral and mandatory part of any carbine or precision rifle setup. After all, you have to be able to transition from the rifle to your sidearm when necessary. You have to be able to handle your other gear, perform any functions without relinquishing control of the, of the long gun. So let's go through some information here about how to use this sling as I see it. As most of you know, there's both single point and two point slings. I am not a big fan of, uh, of single point slings. I think they got very limited usage. Uh, obviously, you can't run with a rifle when you've got it in a single point setup because it's flopping against your body. You really relinquish a lot of the control and the ability to bring the rifle tight to body with either front or back. So we're not gonna really go into the use and, uh, of single point slings. I, I realize that they're, they're pretty popular in the law enforcement community because generally they're not running with this stuff. Uh, but we're going to talk about the two-point sling, which really is a lot more versatile and quite honestly, if you needed to make a single point out of a two-point, very easy to do. First off, I look at the sling as being used in two methods, two main methods. Now, you, most of you are familiar with the way Ben is slung up right now with the sling traversing over the top of his right shoulder. And that is probably the most common method to use a two-point sling. Right now, he's got a tight to body. He's got some tension in it so that he can move around and the rifle's not gonna move a whole lot. And you can see that it gives him complete and unfettered access to his sidearm in case he made it, needed to make that transition. All right, let's demonstrate a bit of the right shoulder use of this sling system and the rifle. First, Ben, let's show you how you tighten this up thing up instantly. It's a quick adjust sling. We're gonna tension that up so we can get a quick to back. Let's transition with the rifle on the back. If you needed full movement, be able to, be able to run more aggressively, this is what you do. You'd want to wear that rifle tight to back. Now let's say we have to deploy the rifle. We're going to bring it back around to the front. Retention the sling, mount the rifle. Have a problem, need to transition to the handgun. Just that easy. All right, now let's talk about the left side use of the sling. In other words, where the strap of the sling is going over your left shoulder. This is not very common, but I use it quite a bit for a number of reasons. First off, you can see that when Ben relaxes and drops the gun, the muzzle is always gonna be forward to the 180. So if I'm using a rifle slung in competition, I like to do this because I never have to worry about the muzzle traversing outside of my 180. Now. Another neat thing here, let's say I had to, uh, uh, in some, some situation, I had to be at the low ready with the rifle quite some time. Tension us up in the low ready position here and show what we're talking about. I can take all my muscular, musculature out of the rifle and the rifle's gonna hang essentially braced into my right shoulder here. I can take all my muscles off that rifle, it's just gonna hang right there. So the rifle will just hinge right up, mount the gun, there you go. So the rifle is always there, instantly ready. I'm not messing with it, trying to find a position on my shoulder. It's actually hinged right in there. So it's a vast, very fast uh, uh, carry position if you want to do a low ready for a long period of time and be able to get that, mount that gun quickly. Now, let's uh, loosen that up and go to a tight side back carry for how that's done to get it out of the way of the handgun. Because that would be the one uh, downside of this method is that the strap is coming across coming across the body inside of the handgun grip and if you're not careful you can follow up your pistol so Ben has been able to get that rifle around tight tight back carry and now he still can transition to the pistol quickly here's a part about left shoulder carry that I find the most useful and that makes it is that it makes it easier to use the sling actually as a shooting brace. In the real world, or in the old SOF format, many times we had to hold a position with a rifle for up to uh, 45 minutes. And 
uh, that can be very tedious and fatigue is your enemy. So the question is how do you use the, the sling to take your musculature out of this situation and be able to build a position that you can hold on target for a long period of time in order to watch what's happening and engage when it's necessary. So Ben's going to build a position here uh, in the sitting and this also would apply say to uh, kneeling. So you can see that he has tensioned the sling up going over his left shoulder around his right armpit up on that side of the rifle and now what he's done is he's taken the entire weight of the rifle and supported it using the sling over his back. Now when you do this you'll find that uh, now you can have no trouble holding a rifle on target for a long period of time without having to fatigue. Now obviously this is for a right hand shooter, a left hand would obviously mirror image all of this detail. Now here's an example of how to build a prone position using this sling technique. Ben's going to tension this sling up in the prone, get into the rifle with that tension that's going to virtually eliminate all that side wobble that you would normally have if you had to monopod off the magazine without a bipod. This is John Paul and Ben Zimmerman with some basic two-point sling technique using the all-new JP two-point sling.